this lady just had a cart of stuff that she's bringing in to donate. And she had a pair of Nikes in her hand. I said, can I have them? Boom. Checking out the hard goods. Here's a cool picture of a horse. But the frame is actually the nice part. Right next to it is a Henkel's wood block for knives. Too bad that wasn't cuckoo. Here's like a Chicago Bears tin. And I can't figure out what could have been in it. Whatever was in it could be in this bin. Because a lot of times people do that, they open things up. They just look at them, they throw them out on the side. Because they don't know what it was. So it could actually be something good in here. I'm going to have to keep looking. See, here's some more of that like stitched or knitted artwork, but not for me. Here's a Toshiba combo player. I'll have to look it up. All right, some good comps on this. I'm gonna have to take a chance because I can't test it. But it looks really clean, so we'll see. All right, we're online waiting to pay. Everybody's got to pay. You can leave and then come right back in. Still a good amount of people in here though. Well that's the biggest haul from the bins I've had. Usually I get like 5 to 10 items. Somewhere in the 7 pound range. Today was 15 pounds. Alright so I got 19 items at the bins today. They all went by weight. Except for the VCR combo unit. They charge $5 for that. So it came out to 15 pounds. Which is 28 bucks. Plus the 5 for the VCR. With tax. Came out to $35. So, that VCR, I have not plugged it in. You're going to see it on camera as I do it. Like I said before, we're either going to succeed or we're going to fail. I'm going to keep it real. So, five bucks is worth the risk. If it works, that is like a $50 to $70 VCR. I only spent $35. That makes everything else free. If it doesn't work, I'm out five bucks. But from what I got, I'm going to make so much money, it doesn't matter. All right, a couple of those smalls that I got first. 20 Nerf darts, the bullets. I always grab these. I don't take the Nerf guns, but I will take the cartridges and or these. Usually I only find a few loose ones that throw them in my bag. They weigh absolutely nothing, so they're basically free. And I have a bag probably of over 100 of them that I'm accumulating. And when I have 100, 200, whatever it is, I haven't even counted them, but it's a pretty big bag. Then I'll sell them off. Even if I get 15 bucks for 10 bucks, it's free money. I grab the AV audio cable for VCRs. And I grabbed this before I found that VCR combo unit, just to have, because I always like to have a few of these around. All right, a few more items I found in the hard goods section. Uh, this hat, DuPont, made in Taiwan, so it is vintage. So I don't know, it's worth a shot. You know, hats, 10, 12, 15 bucks on average. This thing, I have no idea what it is. There's no signature marking on it for the maker, but I thought it was unique and different, so I grabbed it. It's on like a little marble base, and it's like bolts, and a spring, it's like a little cowboy, kind of like sculpture. Pretty cool. Um, did see a few of very similar, but not the cowboy, that looked like they were, you know, priced $50 to $80 range. And this I found in the bin of hard goods after everybody went through. TI 84 plus silver. Pretty good, it needs a little wipe down. The battery case was not on the back, and I was like, oh man. But I said, let me look. Sure enough, it was laying like a foot away in the same bin. Have not tested it. We'll test this when we test the VCR and see if we have winners or losers. So these two things are pretty cool. This one, out of everything I bought, 15 pounds worth of stuff, this thing fits in the palm of my hand and is probably the most valuable piece. It was in a bin of clothing and there was a whole bunch of men's ties. All good brands, Hugo Boss, Ferragamo, um, all kinds of brands, but nothing that I wanted to mess with right now. But I found this. Ferragamo belt buckle. Solid, I looked these up, some in the 50s, some $100. 
So I don't know exactly. I couldn't find the black and gold one. I found some gold. I found the black and gold one, but a little different combination where this part was black. So we'll see. I'm going to look, do some further research. But even if this is a $50 piece, it's a belt buckle. Didn't even cost me 50 cents. And this piece, this is my favorite. I, I don't know. This kind of stuff is really cool. And it makes you wonder where it's been all this time and that it's not even opened. It's dated from 1992. Check this out. It's unopened. Gun and holster and belt combination toy. 1992. This is really cool. I love stuff like this, man. Like, I don't even want to sell this. I want to put it on my shelf up there. I probably will. Probably next video, you're going to see it sitting up on the top there. But this is really cool. And this was after the rush on the hard goods, because those get crazy, so I wait for that to clear out. We're just laying there. All right, let's look at some clothes. I found a vintage embroidered Miami Dolphins. The Dolphins are easy to tell when they're vintage, because it's a different logo than they have now. And this is on a Logo 7 XXL made in the USA tag. Found a pair of shorts, Nike, drive standard fit, $55 price tag, new. And this is, has the big Nike swoosh on one leg, and it has the Miami Marlins logo on the other leg. This is a pair of women's Athleta workout slash yoga pants. Athleta is a great brand. And these have really good comps as well. I know everybody looks for the Lululemon, but Athleta sells really well also. I got two Harley Davidson t-shirts. This one, Treasure Coast Harley of Stewart, Florida. That's a little over an hour north of me. And on the front, this has a big eagle. And then I found this. It's like a Harley Davidson with the one. And it's like a jersey type shirt. Let's look at some jeans that I got. I got seven... I got six pairs today. I have three Polo Ralph Laurens. This one is, and if you don't know if Polo Ralph Lauren jeans, if you look inside the pocket, it has a printout of the style. So I don't know if you can see that. The Hampton Relax Straight, 42 by 32. So it's a pretty big size, which is good. And like a dark blue. Again, you look inside the pocket, and you'll see the cut. These are the Prospect Straight, 42 by 32. Same owner, most likely. And these are called Vintage 1967s, or Vintage 67. And these are 3130s. So three Polo Ralph Lauren jeans, all should sell in the 20s into 30s. Here's a brand that I had never come across before. Gardour. See if I can zoom in for you. It says Adelier Gardour. And nicely stitched. You can tell these are quality. So I looked them up. These are the Nevios. And um, good comps. So I grabbed them. And most jeans nowadays, you can see inside the waistband, most jeans will have either... An embroidery or a label telling you these are the Nevio regular fit. I got a pair of diesel jeans. See right on the front coin pocket. Always have that diesel industries. These are a boot cut. And also on diesel, even if you don't see anything, you just look at your tag right away. That front tag always has that like that side view of an Indian with a mohawk. And they got a pair of Buffalo David Bitten. Here's the tag, Buffalo David Bitten. Most of the David Bittens will have the cut or style name in it, but these do not for some reason. I got to look at them. But these have a really nice kind of bleaching fade to them. So that's really cool. Lastly, these Nike Air Force Ones. They're women's and they're custom painted. And it was just funny that lady pulled up, she was loading stuff up. In the car next to me to bring in to donate and I saw these in her hand put my window down I said hey if you're gonna donate them can I have them and she kind of was like confused looked around 
was like, what's the difference if you're going to donate them? She said, okay. And she put them in my window. And these are a score because I think plain, these sell for like in the $50 range. And these are in excellent condition, no bottom wear at all, no sole wear. Paint job is good, except for on the front. See, it's got some chipping. But oh well, I'm just going to list it, disclose it, get a picture of it, and I'll let the buyer make that decision. But there's some custom ones, paint jobs like that, sell, sell for like 100 bucks. Obviously, I won't get it with the chipping, but if I list them for 50 bucks, they should go. So I just did a rust guesstimate on... If I make 20 bucks, you know, after everything, if I sell them in the mid 20s, I make 20 bucks a pair of jeans, and everything else I calculated, I'm looking at about $400, you know, net, easily, between all this stuff. And that's considering if the VCR and the i84 work. So let's test those out. All right, it's plugged in. We got no lights, let's hit power. Oh, we got dashes, power. And as you can see, light is on. Open sesame. Stop. Open. Ruh row. It's not opening. Let's see if that works. All right, cassette's not opening. I will unscrew and take the lid off of this to check it. I know a couple of easy fixes to clean the heads and to check why this doesn't open. So I am not disappointed yet. So everything works there. So to be determined. So right now it's half working. All right, just put batteries in. I haven't even looked at the front of it yet. There was no corrosion. Let's hit the on button. I don't even know if these batteries are good. This isn't turning on either. I'm striking out, man. These two items alone is like 100 bucks in sales. Either way, I still win today with the rest of the stuff I got. But these would be nice. I'm not convinced these are good batteries. Let me go inside and get other ones. All right, I went inside, got four new batteries. They're in. I have now looked at the front. Let's hit the on button. Damn, man. I'm not getting anything. Oh, well. What's this way? Half a pound? Six ounces? Something like that? So, cost me less than a dollar, but it is not working. If you think something like this VCR not working, I'm going to take it, put it aside. It's going to sit for months. Nope, not me. Screw gun. Screw tips. So I need one, two on the side and three in the back. Open it up. Could be something as simple as a disc that was in there that was left in there and got dislodged and is jamming it up. Next, I have a video on my channel about cleaning the heads, the laser eye on the DVD where I open up a unit. But this one just has one screw on the side, one screw on the other, and then one, two, three on the back very simple and then this back whole piece just lifts right off okay there's no disc in there so that's not the problem is it disconnected let's see what it does when I plug it in so you can visually see what it's doing. But once you have power on this, do not be sticking your fingers just randomly in places, or especially a screwdriver, because there is electricity in there. So it is on. Let's see what happens when I hit eject. It doesn't feel like The door is latching. Let me finagle it a little. All right, so this thing is no good. Here's this little piece right here that's hanging. This is the laser eye, the reader. 
and then the disc goes in, closes above it, and that moves back and forth under there, reading the bottom of the disc. And this piece that's dangling, some of these units you can snap off this top cover piece and get access to it. This one is all encased, so I have to unscrew it and take it apart, I'm not doing that. But this little piece here that's hanging is part of the laser eye, and it shouldn't be hanging here. It's supposed to be sitting, if I could get it to slide back, see it won't even slide back. It's supposed to be sitting in there. So this thing probably got thrown and tossed into the bins or whatever be the case, and it's broken. Alright, so it's disappointing that the calculator and the combo unit not working. That easily knocks a hundred bucks off the sales. So we're around almost 300 in sales. 24 to 60, 100. 120 net just on the jeans alone. And I still spent 35 bucks. So either way, it was a great day. But that's how it goes, and especially when you can't test it. No risk, no reward, right? But I keep it real. I'm going to show you wins and losses. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.